across the state. But southwest Louisiana parishes were not included on that list. I spoke with local officials and residents to learn more about the decision. A week ago, an EF2 tornado traveled through sulfur, while an EF1 struck West Lake, then moved into Lake Charles, leaving a clear path of destruction behind. One sulfur resident who had a tree fall on her trailer is frustrated, but not surprised that Calcasieu Parish was not part of the declaration. She feels southwest Louisiana is often left behind, and this time around is no exception. The mayors of Lake Charles, Sulphur, and Westlake each express state or federal help would be welcomed for repairs and debris cleanup. Mayor of Westlake Hal McMillan told us he is grateful no one in our area was hurt during the storms, but still emphasizes the damage that occurred was not minor. And there was a number of trees, houses, our church, uh, they all took damage and uh, it's, it's a, it was a big event for Westlake. McMillan says he even reached out to state representatives hoping to get answers. Uh, anytime you have a tornado like that that hits, you look for the state and federal people to come to your aid and we're hoping that we could get this declared some type of disaster so we can have some relief and the state and the federal folks would come in and help the people that had damage as well as help the city re be reimbursed for the things that we did. So what goes into the decision to declare a state of emergency? Emergency Preparedness Director Jared Mays says there is a monetary threshold a parish must meet to be included. We sent out this uh, flyer so that people can actually assess their own damage to their house, which is disaster.la.gov, and they can send in pictures and then experts will be able to review those and determine if it meets a certain dollar factor for uh, public assistance, which is usually around a million dollars. Mays explains that technically the decision to proceed with the declaration is still under review as only 15 people in our area submitted reports of their damage. OSEP hopes that by spreading the word about the website, more people will report their damage, moving our parishes closer to the state of emergency declaration, especially ahead of hurricane season. Morgan Babineau, 7 News. You can find the link to submit your photos of damage on our website at kplctv.com.